Hello and welcome back to the Air Anatomy channel. Uh, today we are going to a different but exciting domain of anatomy, the microanatomy. Today's topic is histology of blood vessels. Before we go to see the blood vessel slides, uh, I think we need to have a brief overview of the design of the blood vessel wall. And that's the purpose of this short video. So as you know, blood vessels carry uh, blood, obviously it carries blood. And the general plan of the blood vessel wall, I'm talking blood vessels together, generally for a blood vessel wall, it has three concentric tubes. Uh, these tubes are called uh, tunics, okay, tunics. And uh, these tubes are being described now. The innermost tube near the blood uh, component, you call that tube as a tunica intima. And that is what is shown in this circle. This ring is uh, actually a section of a tube. Okay, a section of a tube and that is a tunica intima. Outside the tunica intima you have a tunica media, okay, the colored in orange and outside that you have the tunica adventitia. So they are basically three concentric tubes or three hollow cylinders if you can imagine. So in the innermost is a tunica intima tube, outside that you have the tunica media tube and outside that you have the tunica adventitia tube. Uh, this is the general plan of uh, the blood vessel and we need to know a little bit of details of uh, these plans. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and uh, focus on to these layers. So if we go to the tunica intima, uh, on the inner side near the blood, okay, what is shown here white, uh, shown as white, there you actually have the blood flowing through it because it is a blood vessel. And uh, uh, near the blood vessel you have a basin membrane on which you have the lining epithelium and this epithelium is called endothelium. Endothelium is a lining, uh, a simple squamous epithelium on the inside of the blood vessel wall. This endothelium is in, uh, is in contact with the blood. Of the flowing blood and it's a very important component uh, functional component of the blood vessel uh, so this is simple squamous epithelium that is resting on a basal membrane and this uh, is uh, the sub endothelial connective tissue uh, the thickness of this is very less but uh, for descriptive purpose I've shown that uh, as a thicker layer in, uh, in this illustration and uh, on the outermost part of the intima you have a wavy layer this is the internal elastic Land. On the outside of the media, so this is the intima and on the outside of the media, you have an external elastic lamina. Okay. In between these internal to external, that means the whole of the thickness of the media, you have a lot of uh, elastic fibers that are running like this. All of them are having a wavy appearance. And in between, sandwiched between all these layers, these layers are uh, approximately 40 to 50 layers of uh, elastic fibers maybe there, depending on the vessel type. And in between these uh, fibers, you will have uh, smooth muscles and I want to warn this is a general plan as I said before this is a general plan of a blood vessel the component of each blood vessel in an artery in a big artery in a small artery in a vein the components will be different so the elastic fiber component in an art in a large artery may be bigger okay the share may be bigger in a small muscular artery the muscular component may be uh, having a bigger share so that will vary according to specific type but what I'm illustrating now is only a general plan so generally in a media you will have elastic fibers and uh, muscle cells in between that this is called smooth muscle cells it's very important to note that this media will not though these are connective tissue element this uh, media will not have fibroblast all these elastic fibers or any other connective tissue elements you may find in the media will be produced by the smooth muscles alone okay that is unique in this case and on the adventitia adventitia is basically a connective tissue layer and that is uh, binding on the outside of the blood vessel wall so this is the three layered pattern of any uh, blood vessel uh, any of the type of blood vessel that we are going to see in the further videos so uh, now what we had discussed was the general plan now if we go to specific plan of an artery and a vein okay in an artery you will have intima you will have a big media and you will have a smaller adventitia so if you compare the walls the intimal wall the medial wall and the adventitial wall the medial wall is uh, is big the media is bigger if you uh, look at the proportion of the components of each of these the media is having the thickest uh, contribution into the blood vessel wall and hence this is an artery so if the media is big that is obviously an artery on the other hand if you consider a vein the pattern of a vein is different you have an intima media mo both of them will be small and mostly the both of them will be blended with each other but you have a thick adventitia on the outside so this is the general plan of a vein and this is a general plan of an artery where you have a big media uh, or a thicker media in a vein you have a thicker adventitia 
the further details of this you have to see the further videos but before, for understanding the uh, the histology of these individual vessels you need to know the general plan uh, within this video so thank you Thank you.